the M18 um, soldering station. Um, I did design it from the ground up. There's different ones out there. None of them met my needs, um, but this one has soldering holder on top and power button. So up is going to be work off of the battery. Center is off. Down works with um, an AC adapter, AC-DC adapter. So this guy right here. And there's a mount on top. How this functions. Slide it on. Turn it on. Right now it's going to give an error because we don't have a soldering station, but the USB port on the side here does power either the fume extractor that you can purchase or uh, I sometimes use it for the phone. It does show, you know, your, your voltage um, of the battery, internal temperature, the temperature that this is set at and how much power it's actually going are you providing right now? So if <clears throat> connect it, it will start getting up to temp and it's set for 300 degrees Celsius right now. And we are there. So I tend to use, um, separate um, solder, uh, soldering iron, soldering iron holder. Um, I did build one in in case people didn't have one or want to use it, but this you have to slide it in a little bit above because it holds on the lip itself here. So you slide it a little above the lip, pull it back, and then it just kind of lock into place. Or if you don't want to use it like I don't, it will just kind of you know slide back in. And I use this. All right, the fume extractor easily slides in just like that, and then it will plug in just like that. And when you turn it on, it does swivel. You can adjust it higher, lower, more in front. Um, it is on, there is a speed selector on it as well. Obviously it sucks it right in. That is the fume extractor. If you decide to purchase that separately. And again, if you don't need it, well, it comes right off. Just boop, unplug it, slides out, and set it aside. Uh, you can't charge your phone. Um, I would recommend if you do charge your phone, just pulling out the iron because the USB port will still work without the iron connected. Um, but at least you won't have to worry about it heating up. So I would just leave it disconnected if the only thing you're doing, but obviously if you're working on the job site or wherever, uh, while you're working, you can still plug in, in a phone if you don't have the fume extractor um, connected. And then it will obviously run with this plug as well, with the AC-DC adapter which will plug right in.
And there you have it. I'll do more videos with a little more in-depth dig, a little more in-depth dive on this. I just wanted to do a quick and dirty video on how this is used. Thanks for watching.